Hi, this is Leslie. And Lexi. And we're here today to introduce 2022 Spring Line for Light Elegance. The artist! <laughs> yes! We have this fabulous collection in our hard gel in the pots and the glitters. And then we also, of course, have it in our wonderful P Plus Soak Off formula. Lexus was so much fun because we all have an artist within us, right? Especially you guys who are creating on your little palettes, little canvases. <laughs> little canvases, exactly. Um, all the time. Uh, we demonstrated some of our uh, artists. artistic uh, abilities. Exactly. And we're now designing clothes. You <laughs> like this? This is the colors in the collection. Don't worry, we'll stick to nail products. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. We could branch out. We're talented. We are. <laughs> Uh, I think that this, um, these colors are perfect and they're so on trend mm -hmm. and they're going to be uh, so much fun for you guys to create your own, you could become your own artist And you know, these. we picked these colors almost a year in advance, so there's a lot of research and forecasting that goes into these color picking with our team. And uh, the trends for spring in 2022 are very toned down, they're soft. They're pastel. There's almost a muddy kind of neutralized vibe to these. And they're so beautiful. They're so cohesive. Perfect to create a masterpiece or a painting with. Exactly. And I think you're right. They, they go so well together as you can as you can even see up here. And mm -hmm. you're going to see them all swatched. We're going to talk about mm -hmm. them. But the artist collection is, it's a must, and I think it's one of, I, I also think there's a lot of colors in it you're gonna be able to use, especially when you get into your neutrals, you can use year round. Well, neutrals are so timeless and year round. They are. That this is a great just collection as a whole. So, why don't we dive right Let's in. Let's do it. And show up. Let's All do right. it. Our you wanna start? I am, I'm gonna start. It's Take It Easel. <laughs> I get Take it Take It Easel. <laughs> I, I love this one because it is a perfect warm neutral pink. It's mm -hmm. soft, light pink meets buff nude. Mm -hmm. So it's in that neutral range. It's definitely pink, but it has that, that I want to say buffness to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's, uh, it's, it's easy to wear. It's nice and calm. Uh, it's a great it, neutral. It's a, it's a great neutral that's a, it's a light pink. Yeah. It's, so I love that it's not too feminine. Right. Because the neutral kind of brings it brings it back. But it has that softness to mm -hmm. it. So, uh, perfect. I'll be wearing it. <laughs> All right, next color is I Will Pose for Leo. Lexi, which what? Leo are you? <laughs> which Leo are you thinking of posing for? I, I'm talking about my boyfriend, uh, DiCaprio. Oh, I thought you'd be talking about a Da Vinci. No, <laughs> but this could go both ways. It Leonardo could. Da Vinci or Leonardo DiCaprio? What do you guys think? What are you gonna? Who are you gonna pose for? We I, thought we were kind of clever with this, I right? Know. I'm definitely posing for DiCaprio. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm jealous of Kate Winslet, but you know, it's, it's all good. <laughs> So I'll pose for Leo. It's a neutral dusty rose. So it's a nice medium rose color that has that dusty, that kind of dusty vibe to it. It's absolutely be beautiful. It's very sophisticated and it's just in that perfect rose spot. It's easy to wear. Once again, I think it's going to be one of those that you can almost wear year round. Mm -hmm. Now we've done two softer colors. We're going to go mm -hmm. into, this is the brightest in the collection. Do the Van Gogh. Do the Van Gogh. Go, go, go. Um, you want to do a little, do a little jig for us? Yeah, those? no, no I, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll create my master. I want to show you on this. This is the color right here and you're going to see it swatched. But this is a creamy coral orange mm -hmm. um, undertone yet the undertone, it's muddy and it's a neutral. Uh, it's not neon, but it's the brightest in the collection. Mm -hmm. I like this because it's kind of in that middle. It's not too bright and it's not too subdued. Mm -hmm. And it's a great But it, it does pack a little punch. It packs a little punch, mm -hmm. and it, but it, it's, a great, it's a great spring coral, and I would wear this one on my toes. Yes, a great Absolutely, toe color, right? Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go in with Stroke of Genius. They absolutely named this after me. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that right now. <laughs> I got it. I got to toot my own horn. <laughs> this is a rich, dark, creamy olive green. It has that muddiness to it, like all these do, as you can see. It's that muddy olive with a little bit of a black undertone. So it does kind of have that little bit of a darker vibe to it. Um, but it is that olive muddy green. It's very easy to wear. I absolutely love this color. So don't be afraid of this green. No, please. but it's so on trend and I know you'll be wearing it. Yes. I knew it. Absolutely. You'll uh, see it on me. Yes. <laughs> Pencils and paint brushes. This is the perfect muddled mauve. It's soft pink meets light purple to create uh, this mauve shade. 
So and what's mauve? What, what you, I could ask all of you what is mauve and I could probably get a hundred different answers. Um, this is a mauve that truly leans more toward the lavender, which is uh, mixed in with gray. Mm -hmm. So if that makes sense, it's more the, the grayish muddly uh, gray, gray lavender. Mm -hmm. It's not too, it's not the bright purplish lavender no. with a lot of white in no. it. It has more of the gray. It's gray it. meets lavender. Yes. Um, I love this color. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's in your neutral palettes, you guys. And, and it's, it's not so on trend. It's so on trend. So it's a great one. Last in the, co the color collection is Bare Canvas. <laughs> you want to show your Bare Canvas? No, I don't. <laughs> Unless Let's Leo's painting me in private. <laughs> but other than that. <laughs> Dream <laughs> on, honey. I know. <laughs> This is a creamy vanilla bean with a subtle hint of yellow. As you guys can see, this is being swatched on our beautiful model, Camilla. She has a darker skin tone and it looks absolutely fantastic on her. Um, so any, anybody with an olive complexion or kind of a red or an olive undertone, this is the color for you. Darker skin tone, I mm. definitely, is gonna be, it's outstanding on. Mm -hmm. So it's a fun color. Once again, a nice neutral um, yellow meets uh, vanilla color. But not too yellow, it's, it's, it's great. We needed this, we don't have anything like it. No, no. All right, guys, that was the colors, mm -hmm. and now we're gonna go into the uh, glitter, which we can all have a lot of fun with, yes. whether it's an accent, using your striping brush, or solid nail. Some of these glitters are uh, good all the way solid. Some of them are nice placement. Mm -hmm. So we have a good uh, a range of glitters here. Yes. Uh, Wanta Watercolor is the first one we're gonna introduce you to. It's a soft, petite, sweet pink, and this pink is lightly laced with iridescent pieces throughout. Mm -hmm. I really like this. I think we need this kind of light pink. I, you could put on two coats and do it a solid, but I think where it's going to mainly uh, make its masterpiece is uh, putting a thin layer over your light pink or dark pinks mm -hmm. and also your corals and your uh, neon type oranges. Mm -hmm. Wow. So this is a transparent glitter. Mm -hmm. I like to compare this one viscosity and coverage to like an orange crush. Yeah. I know that's a lot of your guys' favorite out there. It, it plays very similar to that glitter where you can place it over any color and you can see through through it. Yeah. I, it, it's real versatile. You're going to get a lot of use mm -hmm. out of this. A lot of and different And the name's so fitting because watercolor is like that. Yeah, it, Watercolor exactly. kind of moves and it's kind of transparent. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can remember that one. Yeah, so it's a must. Well, the next one is don't frame me in. Oh, nobody can frame me in. Let's be real. <laughs> We've tried. You can, We've you tried. Can try. We've tried. This is tiny iridescent pieces make up a background for larger satin pastel glitters. Mm -hmm. This is this this is the sweetest one in the collection. You do have those larger satin pastel colors in there, the lavenders and the blues and the light pinks. Um, but there are tiny pieces of iridescent throughout. It is so much fun. I would call this kind of a placement one. This would look good on its own, or you could put it over different colors for glitter fades. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I, very sweet. I, yeah, I think this next one, nudie. Nudie. <laughs> Let's do some nudies. Uh, <laughs> I think this is going to be the most popular in yes. the collection. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely outstanding. It's a fancy spring champagne. So if you guys, uh, champagne has probably been one of our top two selling glitters for the last, I don't know, 15 years. years. So uh, this one just, uh, Nudie is a little bit lighter. Uh, it's not, uh, champagne's a little bit darker. This this is absolutely fabulous. It pops, it celebrates, yet it's a neutral. It's not too busy. I. It's absolutely fabulous. It's a must have. Everybody mm -hmm. needs a nudie. Yes, you right. are absolutely right. Uh -huh. Monet all day. Yes. I love this. I Who wants too. to draw Monet all day? <laughs> um, I thought this was yours, but I will take it away. Um, tiny specks of baby pink are delicately mixed with small shimmers of silver mm. pearl. Mm -hmm. So uh, we kind of call this a pearl, but you could almost say it's a matte because there is no glam and sparkle to this one. It's kind of that subdued matte. Kind of gives a little bit of texture if you put it over the nail. Right. It's such a sweet, soft pink. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect spring glitter. It's gonna be versatile and beautiful. It is, it has, it's, it doesn't pop if you wanna go a little bit softer, but you kinda wanna have a little bit of sparkle in there. It just has a, almost a satiny shimmer to it, mm -hmm. but it is, uh, it lays kind of flat. I, I would wear this one like- It's I such would, a you glitter. I, it, I would put two coats of this mm -hmm. on all 10 of my fingers and totally be If happy. Leslie was a glitter, she would be Monet all day. We can call it Leslie all day. Yeah, Leslie all day. Leslie all oh, day. that could be fun. Anyway, that, yeah, that is, um, 
at the, at the, I will be wearing that. Good on toes also. Mm -hmm. My master pink. Uh, this is pink. My masterpiece. I'm sorry. My what did I say? Pink. I'm my in the pink zone. You aren't are I? in the pink zone. Yes. Shocker, right? Yeah. <laughs> my masterpiece. You're my masterpiece. Oh. I created you, that and you're such a masterpiece. That is true. That's funny. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah. You just I now. Your, I can be your masterpiece. I, you're my I'm masterpiece. good with that. This is pink. Uh, meets is a touch of coral with chunky pieces of iridescent. With, iridescent without. This is kind of a placement. I love this. It has that. Um, coral brightness to it but there's also kind of a softness to it mm -hmm. with the iridescent coming through mm -hmm. it's it, it's it's fun it's a lot going on in sort of a calm way it is I know it's kind of subdued but it does pack a punch at the same time exactly but it is like you said it is a placement it's a one. placement it is guys, a chunky one they're fun uh, but the, you're not just going to glide it on and cover it up. it's mm -hmm. going to go over a color so I would put it over your pinks or your corals uh, lots of spring colors you can put it on actually it'd be fabulous over black too yeah it, it, it really anything yeah I mean that's it's true. just all right, the last one out of the six glitters is Creative Chaos. I named this after my desk because <laughs> I had a brander come in. She was actually my mentor. Um, her name, I love her. She, I would always be like, I'm sorry, I'm so messy. And she'd be like, no, this is Creative Chaos. And I loved that because this glitter kind of represents that where it's kind of chaotic when you first look at it, but it's so creative, it's so beautiful. Um, it's emeralds and greens and a little bit of Mediterranean blue come together to make this chunky, creative, beautiful, creative chaos mess. Yeah, but uh, but yet it works. It totally it's works. It's so cohesive. Yeah. yeah, and if you put it on real thin, it just becomes this really, really light, light green, but you can kind of um, layer it and make it a little bit more deeper and a little bit brighter, and you can kind of get that Mediterranean feel for it. Um, it's really, really fun. I absolutely love this glitter. Yeah, yeah it's right up your alley. It, it is fun. <laughs> All right, you guys. Those are six of the new mm -hmm. colors and six of the glitters for spring. Uh, a lot of research went into it and we nailed this one, uh, the artist collection. And mm -hmm. what'll be fun is to watch you all take mm -hmm. this and create. So we want to see lots of fun stuff. Yes. Have fun with the artist theme and show us what you can do with mm -hmm. it. Um, we have some ideas. Taryn, she did um, the nails on here. She had a lot of fun uh, doing mm -hmm. it with her canvas. She As you beautiful can see, work. these are truly they, she did these profiles of this face that looks like a painting. They're absolutely amazing. She is a phenomenal artist. She did all of our shots for this and she did an amazing job. So shout out to Taryn on that one. Um, also, we had a lot of fun with this collection. We made these beautiful backgrounds that you'll see on all the packaging. Olivia and I, um, in marketing, we painted these. <laughs> and we had so much fun creating them. Um, so it is fun to do everything from scratch and doing it ourselves in-house and having our amazing photographer, Tim, shoot these. So from start to finish, this collection was so much fun to create. And the same with the ingredients that go into this, mm -hmm. all made in-house. And right here at our facility with our chemists, it's all what's inside matters. Mm -hmm. It truly is who we are. Everything is made here with the finest ingredients. There's no HEMA and it's all safe. We want to keep this industry at, we, we always say this and it's so important to keep this industry, mm -hmm. you safe, your clients safe mm -hmm. with only the best products. And that's what Light Elegance does right here at our facility. Yes. And it's all what, Les, Alexi, with the What's Inside Matters? The icons? Oh, come on! <laughs> You've got to say <laughs> it. <laughs> your favorite thing no, in Joseph. You're putting pressure on me. <laughs> What's inside matters. There are icons below. You guys know the drill. You know that everything is safe, just like Leslie said. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. Buy these colors. Get them through your distributor. You can pre-order now. And we want to see what you guys do on social media with your artist yes. ability. And we want to see what you can create on all 10 of your little canvases. Get the artist collection today, you guys. Thank awesome. you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.